Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zava. In this video I thought I'd hop on the PTR today and play around with some of the new feral changes that are going to be happening in patch 7.3. So I am on the 7.3 PTR and I'm going to be messing around with some of the new changes with the new tier, the new talents, and I figured I would go through some of the official 7.3 PTR patch notes with you guys and let you guys know my thoughts and how I feel about some of these changes that are going to be happening next patch. However, first before we do anything, I want to go to Dalaran because I believe there are some vendors near one of the banks that actually sell us the entire full tier 21 set. I don't think it's a heroic or mythic version, just a normal version, but because it is the next tier, it is a really high eye level anyway. I'm not quite sure what the eye level is though. So if we go over here, I think this is over here, sets. Yeah, here it is. This is the tier 21 feral set bonus. So, oh my god, reading this is just ridiculous. It's actually probably the most powerful set bonus that we've had this entire expansion. When Rip deals damage, there's a 20% chance for it to deal damage again. That's literally just a flat, like, 20% damage increase on our Rip, which is our number one damaging ability, at least typically in 7.2. Uh, and then for the 4 piece, when Rip deals damage, you have a 4% chance to cause your next Ferocious Bite to be free and count as if you spent the maximum amount of energy. Guys, this set bonus is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just going to buy all these pieces right now. Uh, these are Tomb and Nighthold gear. We don't need that. But yeah, so this gear is actually, where is it? Yeah, it's 930 base eye level, which is completely extreme for normal gear. But it's going to be really good for testing out some of these new changes. Alright, so before I start putting all this gear on, let's head over to the target dummies in the Dream Grove real quick. What the fuck? For some reason on the way over to the dummies, I noticed that the uh, the weekly chest hasn't been opened for some reason, even though I transferred this character after opening it on live, so fuck it, let's open it and see what we would have gotten. I will remember. What? Uh... 955 titan forge ring socketed is with the best in slot stats oh my fucking god i wish this was in the live servers what is that luck <sighs> not gonna lie guys i'm a little bit triggered right now oh my god all right whatever i'm over it so let's just start testing some stuff so one of the first major changes we are getting in 7.3 is the order of our talents feel free to pause at any time but this is our talent tree on live servers and this is our new talent tree in patch 7.3. With a lot of the new talents changing position, it actually might be viable to try a few different builds. So the first build I wanted to try in the PTR today is a Sabertooth build. Actually, since the Jagged Wounds has changed to tier 75, we can run Jagged Wounds as well as Blood Talents while running Sabertooth. Sabertooth has also been buffed by 5% on live servers. It's 15% increased damage on Ferocious Bite, but on the PTR, it is 20%. So that might synergize very well with the 4-piece for tier 21, as it does give us free Ferocious Bites. So I thought I would put that on. I'm going to use the Helm, Cloak, Shoulders, and Leg piece to test this build, and I'm going to be hitting a target dummy for 5 minutes and see how much DPS I actually do with this. Oh, and also, before we start, I would like to quickly mention that I'm going to be running the double ring setup, because I think that the Soul of the Archdruid giving that extra energy would be really useful with the free Ferocious Bites that I'm going to be casting, as well as the two-piece from Tier 20. But yeah, I figured while I do this test, it would be a good time to talk more about the talent changes, especially for the talents on the bottom three rows, since there's been a lot of buffs and nerfs down there. First for the nerfs, Jagged Wounds increases your dot speed by 20%, down from 33%. Savage Roar lasts 50% longer, but increases our damage by only 15%, down from 25 That's actually a really nice change to have in my opinion, even though the damage bonus is being lowered, it means that we can put Savage Roar up and it will last 36 seconds, I believe, at base 5 combo points, which is very nice of a change in my opinion. Then, probably the biggest nerf of them all is Blood Talon's damage bonus reduced to 20%, down from 50%. These all sound like horrible changes, but to make up for it, they made it so Ferals do baseline 33% increased damage on every ability. They were saying in a blue post that the reasoning behind this was because they wanted to make Ferals less punishing when you make mistakes especially when you use some of the more complex talents, such as blood talents. On top of that, they also wanted to make the other talent choices more competitive and viable. Some of the talent choices in the past were never picked, such as Elune's Guidance and Sabretooth, which brings me to the buffed talents. 
They reworked Moment of Clarity a bit to make it so that the proc rate has doubled, and they also made it so the ability you spend your proc on deals 20% more damage. Moment of Clarity is a really fun talent to play around with, but I don't think it will ever be viable just because it shares the same talent tree as Blood Talons. Even though Blood Talons is being nerfed, it's still extremely strong, and I think it's going to be the strongest talent in the tier. The same thing also applies for Arloon's Guidance. It is being buffed next patch as its cooldown is going to be reduced to 30 seconds, down from 45. However, it's going to give 3 less combo points than it used to. Even with the buff, I don't think it's really going to matter. The buff isn't that substantial, and it also shares the same tier as Blood Talons, so we're probably just going to be running the Blood Talons talent once again for the rest of 7.3. Going up to the level 90 tier, we've talked about this a little bit already, Sabretooth does an additional 5% damage compared to live servers. I really hope Sabretooth becomes viable in one way or another, because I really like the synergy with tier 21. It also might be really good for twins or council fights. Being able to constantly have 2 or 3 rips on the boss for the entire fight might actually be better than Brutal Slash, but we'll just have to see. Alright, and coming up on 5 minutes right now, we're doing 1.27, we were doing, okay, 1.27, we're doing 1.6 now. That's actually a lot of damage for running Sabretooth. I will admit though, the build's a little bit boring. I was doing nothing besides spamming Ferocious Bite. There's no Savage Roar to cast or rip, we're just literally spamming Ferocious Bite the entire time. As you can see there, 20% Ferocious Bite damage. But uh, it, the damage it did was actually pretty comparable to live servers. I was doing 1.26 million DPS. That's about um, how much I do on live servers right now. My character actually sims on live servers for about 1.2 million. So this actually might be a viable build. At the same time, I kind of hope it isn't though because I'm literally just spamming Ferocious Spite. However, we will have to see. Let's try some other builds though. I'm actually curious about something. What happens if I run the exact same gear? And instead of running Sabretooth, I just switched things over to Savage Roar. Because this is the meta build that everyone runs in 7.2.5, but all three of these talents have been nerfed. Jagged Wounds has been nerfed, Savage Roar, and Blood Talons. So let's give this a try, actually. Let's see how much damage we do. I'm still going to be rocking that tier 21 set bonus. And once again, I'm going to be doing a 5 minute test. So while we have time, let's talk about some of the more obscure Feral changes. First off, Prowl's cooldown has been reduced to 6 seconds. Thank fucking god. This is a much welcome change. I've been asking for this for so long. 10 seconds always felt like an unnecessarily long cooldown. Definitely a nice little quality of life change. Thrash will now generate 1 combo point. Additionally, Thrash and Swipe both cost 5 less energy. This is a pretty decent buff for AoE, but what I'm more excited about is that finally Thrash will baseline generate 1 combo point. Something that I find kind of funny about this blue post that I'm reading is that they say Thrash is still not intended to be used in the baseline single target rotation. But the thing is though, is that Thrash was literally already viable for single target. This combo point change just makes Thrashing single target even stronger than it was before. Savage Roar will no longer be a snapshot mechanic. It's a little sad seeing snapshotting dying as a Feral Druid, but to be honest it shouldn't change too much with Savage Roar not being a snapshot buff anymore. We pretty much had it up 100% of the time anyway, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal, it won't change too much with the class. And we're coming up on 5 minutes right about now, gonna be ending at about 1.3 million DPS. That Savage Roar buff with the 50% extended duration made the rotation feel a lot smoother. At some points I actually had Savage Roar up for 40 seconds at a time, and I could just keep on spamming Ferocious Bites and keeping my rip up very easily. Overall that felt pretty solid. It beat the Sabretooth build, but to be honest we can't actually get accurate numbers until Simcraft decides to release their PTR build for 7.3. So there's one more build I want to test out. It's with the same Legendary and Talent setup, so we're going to be running the Jagged Wound, Savage Roar, and Blood Talent setup once again. But instead of rocking the entire full tier 21 set, I put on a 4 piece for tier 20 because of the 4 piece set bonus, which makes my rip do 10% more damage. And I figured it might synergize really well with the tier 21 2 piece, which also makes it so there's a 20% chance for my rip to deal damage again. I think the set pieces will synergize really well together, and I actually might be doing an insane amount of damage. Alright, so let's just set up for this final 5 minute test and see how much damage this build does. By the way, if you want a link to the blue post talking about the Feral Druid rework, feel free to click the link in the description below. But there's actually one more very minor change on here that I haven't mentioned yet, and that is that Rebirth no longer consumes Predatory Swiftness procs. Holy fuck guys, 
The double rip synergy from tier 20 and 21 set bonuses are actually insane. I did way more damage than when I was using Sabretooth, as well as when I was using the full tier 21 set. I believe I ended the test at 1.36 million DPS. It's pretty sad though. I really like the unique effect of tier 21. Having those free ferocious bites are pretty fun to play with, even though the set's pretty buggy right now. Like I said earlier though, these tests aren't even close to accurate. We won't know for certain which builds are going to be the best until Simulation Craft updates for 7.3 PTR. If this is going to be the tier setup we run, without a doubt, Rip Relics are going to be the best in 7.3. Either way, I kind of hope we're not stuck using old tier during Argus. I don't think it's going to be fun returning to Tomb of Sargeras every week, just hoping and praying for those RNG Titan Forge drops. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. I don't normally make videos like this, but I figured I'd try something new. So, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. More Feral videos to come. See you guys next time. Peace.